Hi all. In this session, I'm going to be talking about the idea of collab bombing, or in other words, what to do if people in your session are doing something that's rude or inappropriate. How do you shut that down? Well, more than likely, someone doing that is probably going to do that if they're anonymous. Not necessarily, we'll cover both cases, but I'm assuming most people would be doing it because they have anonymous entry. So there's a couple of things you could do right off the bat to try to avoid that. Namely, do you let them join anonymously? So you're going to do that from the settings. Now, whether it's a course room or within a session, the settings are the same. You can see I clicked into a course room and there's two different ways students could get anonymous access. Firstly, it could be the guest link. I can enable guest access. But that being said, if I don't share this guest link, no one's going to join via the guest link because they won't know what it is. But as once I share it, this gives people anonymous entry to the session. So I have to be careful whether I give this link out or not. Again, anonymous entry means someone's coming in and might be more willing to do something inappropriate. Also within the session settings, there's a similar function, but in this case, it's the in allowing attendees to join the session using a telephone. This can be a great function because it means someone maybe is having connection problems. They can still dial into the session and at least listen in. But again, it's anonymous. Someone starts doing something inappropriate. I have no way of telling who that person is. So you may want to consider deselecting this if you are worried people are going to do something inappropriate. Great. So let's say you do have that enabled or maybe the people coming in your session are doing inappropriate things even though their name is known. Well, how are we going to actually troubleshoot that? Well, let's go into course room and see. I've got a couple fake students already in there waiting for us who can be our examples, our guinea pigs. Not the most creative names, but they're there. Well, if I was doing a session, and I'm going to zoom in a bit, if I was in a session and horrible, inappropriate things are happening, there is two things I could do right off the bat. I could actually go in and kick the user. By clicking the purple icon near the bottom right to open the collaborate panel, I could go to the attendees list and see Okay, maybe I can see student one has their microphone on. In fact, if student one turned on their microphone, I'd see the microphone symbol right there. And maybe I can tell they're the one doing inappropriate, horrible things. You can see I actually turned it off to avoid an echo. But if I wanted to, I could actually get rid of this user. I could click the three dots and actually remove them from the session. They would be kicked from the session. Hopefully I've shut down and stopped inappropriate behavior. The problem is that's not a permanent ban. If the student tries to refresh the page, they're not getting back in. But if they're clever and shut everything down and come back in, they're going to get back in. And if they're using the guest link, they're going to get back in because, again, it's anonymous. They won't be able to tell that they've already been banned. So what else can I do? Well, the more extreme solution is actually going into the session settings within the My Settings area. So My Settings, the Geary symbol right here. I click Session Settings, and what I can do is actually turn off the ability to do anything. Now, this is drastic. It means everybody in the room no longer has the ability to do anything. But I've shut down the inappropriate behavior for sure because they can't even chat, let alone post audio. And now if I'm still wanting to run my session, but I don't want everybody to have the ability to use these options again, this I can go to the attendees panel and actually promote those people I know are good. This student number two, well, this person's in my class. I know they're not going to cause problems. What I could do, click the three dots within a circle to the right of their name and make them a presenter. Now that particular person has the ability to use audio, video, and chat again. They also have the ability to share files and uh, actually potentially mess up your presentation if they're not careful, maybe by accident. So you want to be a little careful with this option. But hopefully this would help you troubleshoot any possible collab bombing incident you would have. But hopefully it'll never actually happen to you anyway.